Edward the Confessor was born in 1003, the son of King Ethelred the Unready and his second wife, Emma of Normandy. Edward and his family fled to Normandy in 1013 after Swain Fortbeard invaded England and deposed Edward's father. Edward spent most of his childhood in exile in Normandy. Edward returned to England following the death of Harthur Canute, who had expelled the Danish king Swain Fortbeard. Edward's return marked a period of stability and prosperity in England. Edward was crowned King of England after Harthur Canute died without an heir. Edward was chosen as king because he was a member of the royal family and had the support of the English nobility. Edward was a deeply religious man and was known for his devotion to the Christian faith. He was called, the Confessor, because of his belief in the power of confession and his own frequent confessions. Edward married Edith of Wessex in 1045, she was the daughter of Godwin, Earl of Wessex, and was known for her piety and charitable works. She and Edward had a close relationship, and she was later known as, Queen Edith the Fair. The Godwin family were powerful nobles in England, and they often challenged Edward's authority. The most famous member of the family was Harold Godwinson, who would later become king after Edward's death. Edward's mother was from Normandy, and she had many Norman advisers at his court. This caused tension with the English nobility, who felt that the Normans were given too much power. Edward commissioned the building of Westminster Abbey, which was completed in 1065. The abbey became one of the most important religious and political institutions in England, and many English monarchs were crowned there. Harold Godwinson was married to Edward's sister, and they had a close relationship. Harold was a powerful noble and was instrumental in maintaining Edward's authority. Edward's health was poor for much of his life, and he suffered from a painful abdominal ailment that caused him great discomfort. He died of this ailment, or from a stroke or heart attack in 1066. Edward and Edith had no children, and there was uncertainty about who would succeed him as king. There were several potential claimants to the throne, including Harold Godwinson, William of Normandy, and Edgar the Etheling, and it is said that Edward named William as his successor on his deathbed. Edward was known for his piety and his generosity to the poor. He founded several charitable institutions, which provided care for the sick and the poor. Edward was interested in legal and administrative reform and introduced several important changes during his reign. The writ system was a way of issuing written orders that could be enforced by the courts, which helped to standardize legal procedures. Edward also established a centralized administrative system that helped to strengthen royal authority. Edward was a patron of the arts and encouraged the development of literature and music in England. He was particularly fond of the works of the Benedictine monk Alfred, who wrote in both Old English and Latin. Edward's reign was marked by a period of relative peace and prosperity in England. This period, known as the Edwardian Golden Age, was characterized by economic growth, cultural development, and political stability. Edward's reliance on Norman advisers and his close relationship with the Norman nobility caused tension with the English nobility, particularly the powerful Godwin family. This tension would have important consequences for the succession to the throne after Edward's death. Edward's death in January 1066 led to a succession crisis, as several claimants vied for the throne. Harold Godwinson, who had been named Edward's successor, was challenged by William of Normandy and Edgar the Etheling. The succession crisis that followed Edward's death ultimately led to the Norman conquest of England. William of Normandy invaded England and defeated Harold Godwinson at the Battle of Hastings in October 1066, marking the beginning of a new era in English history. King Edward the Confessor reigned from 1042 to 1066 and was known for his piety, legal and administrative reforms, and support for the arts. His reign was characterized by relative peace and prosperity in England, but his close relationship with the Norman nobility caused tension with the English nobility, particularly the powerful Godwin family. Edward's death in 1066 led to a succession crisis, ultimately resulting in the Norman conquest of England.